Welcome to Your Journey Yoga. I'm Cheryl. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you immensely. Um, so today, a full body, full class. Um, so dedicating some time to yourself on your mat, making sure that you've got some water handy. Know that, guys, it's all about showing yourself grace and kindness and working through things, not powering through things, but breathing through things. So making sure that we stay connected to our breath, that we are present right here on our our mats that we do our very best to let go of the rest of the world around us just for this period of time. What a gift. Time for yourself, time for self-care, self-love to get better, stronger, more flexible, um, just to be the best version of ourself that can exist here today. So thanks for joining me here, you guys. And again, like I say, water handy. If you like any props, any tools to help, um, with your practice, please grab whatever it is you might need, a blanket, a pillow, a strap, a block, uh, whatever it is, all right? And let's get going. So today, we are gonna actually start on our backs. In our supine pose, corpse pose, uh, so just finding a safe way come to come down onto your back and just get rid of all the wiggles. Take a second and just really feel the floor beneath you. Relax your jaw. Let your body be still. Feel your breath moving in and out through your nose. Your belly rising and falling. Noticing how your hands fall. The arms are heavy. Are you holding tension anywhere? Just gently moving, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. All the way through the body, checking in. And we're gonna pull that right knee in towards the chest. Hands to your chin, just below your knee. If that's a little too much for your lower back, just bend that left knee and pull your foot in a little bit. Otherwise, keep that left leg long. Just checking in with the hip flexor, with the glutes. Now release that left arm and extend it out to a T. Right hand's gonna stay on the knee and we're gonna just make a big circle. Doesn't matter which direction you go with that knee. Kinda of just a free form, no right or wrong, just a circle. And as you pull your knee back in, switch directions. So again, like I said, it doesn't matter which direction you're going because we're gonna get both. And we're not in a race at any point today, you guys. So if you feel like you're trying to hurry through stuff, Settle down for just a second. Focus with your breath and move with your breath. Now, as that knee comes back towards your chest, we're gonna take that knee up and out towards your armpit a little bit. So kind of a 45 degree angle, if you will, as you pull that knee up and out. So just work in mobility and flexibility through that hip, helping to let go of any tension that we might be holding in that lower back. Now, oftentimes we'll come here at the end of class rather than starting at the beginning. So it might be a very different sensation. You might notice that you're holding on to a little bit more tension. Beautiful thing is we're going to come back to this at the end of class and check in again. Now let's pull that knee back to center. Extend your right arm out to a T. Left hand crosses to the outside of the right knee and pull your leg across. So as you pull that knee across, oh, just feel that really nice stretch in that lower back. Gently pressing that right shoulder back towards the mat. And if it feels good to you, turn and take your gaze out over that right shoulder. So yeah, typically we'll end with these final stretches, which we probably will again today. But we'll have this kind of starting point to check in and compare how we feel at the end versus now. Hopefully a lot looser. And rolling back to center, extending that right leg out and down. And we pull that left knee and hands to your shin, just below your knee, pull it in nice and tight. Mm, noticing, do you hold tension differently? Probably so. If you need to bend that right knee, bend the knee and bring the foot up. If the knee feels good, leg feels good to be long, keep it long. And we're gonna extend that right arm out to a T. Left hand's just gonna be on the, er, that left knee and we're gonna make a big circle. Again, does not matter which direction you're going. 
with that circle. It's not a race. So we're controlling the movement, keeping that core strong and just allowing the head of the femur to move through that hip joint. Let's do one more rotation and as your thigh comes towards your tummy, we're going to switch directions. Just noticing how you feel, what's going on with the body. As you come back to center, take a moment, pull it in towards the chest, and then release that intention and pull it up towards your armpit. So that little 45 degree angle, that knee comes up and open, stretching through the inner thigh. You might notice a firing up of those obliques on that right side, because that right hip is trying to lift off the mat. So it's kind of cool as you learn these different little pieces that go hand in hand with your mind and your body connection. It's super cool. Now bring that knee back to center, extend your left, le left arm out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Mm, taking your gaze out over that left arm. Close your eyes. Noticing if there's any place in particular where you're holding tension. So as we work through our class, through our practice, we're going to work to let go of that tension wherever we find it. Always in a kind way. Remember, we are not working through pain. If ever there is pain, we are going to get out of wherever we are and back it off where it's just a good stretch. And if that means backing it all the way out of the pose, that's absolutely fine. Rolling back to center. We're going to keep that left knee tucked in and pull that right knee in. Bringing the hands behind your thighs. I just want you to rock. Little rocks. Little massage for the back. Each one a little progressively bigger. And this one, let's take it up. Nice job. Soles of the feet together. Feet are out and away from us, and we just slowly allow ourselves to fold forward. Butterfly. A little tuck of the chin. Let's extend those arms out to a T, and we're going to come up to the pads of the fingers. As we walk those fingertips out, noticing, oh, that upper and middle back. Hollow the tummy and chest. Create space between those shoulder blades. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then gently flatten it out. Just let your upper body be heavy. And let's walk those hands forward. Extending those arms, you can stay up on the fingertips or you can come down to the palms of the hands. Just whatever feels good to you. I kind of like the fingertips because I can kind of walk my fingertips forward a little bit more, pulling and getting a deeper stretch. Get to know the messages your body sends when it's too much, when there's still room to play. And let's slowly walk those hands back up, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take that left leg and we're gonna cross it underneath the right. Now, if you're taking care of your knees today and you need to keep that left leg long, keep it long. If it's okay to tuck it underneath, let's take that right foot up and over, wrapping at the crook of the elbow and find your breath. So we're gonna wrap the crook of that left elbow around the knee and pull it in nice and tight. Breathe, sitting up nice and tall. So again, if that le left leg needs to be long, you just keep it straight out in front. If it's good to have it tucked underneath, yeah, do so. Sit up tall, extend right arm out, circle it around and release that hand behind you. Sit up as tall as you can sit and turn and take your gaze back out over that right shoulder. A little tuck of your chin down towards your right collarbone. Just working the whole body. Inhale, extend left arm out, circle it around, and come all the way back to face front. Ah, let's switch sides. Sweeping that right foot underneath, left leg crosses. And again, if you need to have that leg straight, you just bring it right out in front. We sit up as tall as we can sit, wrapping the crook of that right elbow around the knee, pull it in nice and tight. Sit tall, extend left arm out, lift it high, circle it around, bring your hand around behind you, prop yourself up even taller and turn and take your gaze out over that back shoulder. Promoting blood flow, energy flow, 
removing blockages of energy and emotional well-being letting that flow you guys oh, just working to be the best you that you can be letting go of the garbage that we have a whole a tendency to hold on to extending left arm back up and over and releasing coming forward and let's sweep those feet around we're gonna come up onto all fours to a tabletop position you know we tend to have a hold to hold on to garbage indeed we do let it go if it doesn't serve you let it go in our tabletop position hands are shoulder width apart knees are hip width core is nice and strong let's take a big breath into cow pose tummy towards the floor oh lift your gaze lift your sit bones and exhale hollow your tummy and chest lift your spine tuck your chin tuck your tailbone inhaling it back to that cow pose and exhaling it hollowing it up to cat let's do two more of each cleansing opening carefree uh, just moving at the pace of your breath as we will work to find effective healthy ways to let go of stress and tension guys our life changes a whole lot better coming back to that tabletop position and just gently wag your hips side to side wagging your tail so an effective healthy way to let go of stress and tension what a gift oh my goodness I celebrate this gift every day you guys and that's part of what made me want to share it with you it has changed my life for the better in so many ways physically emotionally mentally we come back to center and I want you to have that same gift let's tuck the toes lift the knees and extend those legs pressing those palms into the mat gazing back between those feet allowing those heels to sink pressing through the palms of the hands feeling that amazing stretch down the backs of the legs let's inhale it to high plank now you might need to adjust those feet do so and then as you exhale press it back to down dog now we shouldn't need to adjust those feet anymore inhaling it back to plank but if you do it's okay it's all good exhale back to down dog let's do that once again inhale it to high plank and exhale it to down dog we take the gaze between the hands walk your feet in to forward fold bending the knees as much as you need to to let those hands come to the mat we're going to turn those fingertips backwards and we're going to walk those hands back as far as we can now you can be up on your fingertips or you can work to bring those palms to the mat tucking your chin towards your chest nose towards your knee I want you to notice you're probably back on your heels and we can lift those toes that's fine I want you to glue your hands or your fingertips where you are and shift your weight forward can you get those toes back to the mat do you feel that great stretch in that lower back and down the backs of the legs let's inhale pulling those hands forward once again release the weight of the upper body down and ever so slowly roll yourself up with a big shoulder roll up and back shoulders slide down and away do that again big shoulder roll up and back shoulders slide down and away inhale reach to the sky interlace your fingers bring your hands behind your head and as you exhale lean to the right just a beautiful long lateral stretch on that left side of your body inhaling it back to center and exhale leaning to the left oh just that beautiful stretch inhaling it back to center core is strong and we're going to begin to hinge forward now you can stop wherever you need to stop so we're going to add load the lower we go working to come to a 90 degree bend elbows are drawn back crown of the head pointing straight ahead and we rise firing up those hamstrings and those glutes and then as you exhale gently release the weight of the head back into your hands as you open your chest allow those elbows to be heavy 
Inhaling it up nice and tall, core is strong. And again, we're gonna hinge forward to that 90 degrees or above, so less of an angle if you like. Breathe. So if you have super tight hamstrings or glutes, yeah, maybe you stop at about 45, 65, 70, or you come all the way down to 90. And let's rise. So it's about listening to your body, right? It's about challenging yourself, but being kind. And once again, opening your gaze to the sky. Oh, feel that gentle opening. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Interlace those fingers, keep them interlaced, press the palms to the sky. Slowly lowering those hands to shoulder height. And as you exhale, press the palms forward, spine back, chin down. Space between those shoulder blades. Inhaling it up nice and tall, release those hands, circle the arms around behind, and we sit to chair, pulling the hands to heart center. Breathe. As we sit to our chair, chest remains tall. Weight is in our heels. Can you lift your toes? Breathe. We're going to do five little pulses up and down, keeping those knees from knocking inward. Last two, firing up those legs. Last one, stay low in your chair. Extending those arms overhead, softening those shoulders. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down. Take a giant step back with your left foot. Circle the arms back and overhead. Now that back knee can come down if you like. Otherwise, keep it off. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Inhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. Arms extending out overhead. Long diagonal line down the back of the body. Opening those arms out to a T. Arms back to flight. Turn your palms to the sky. Roll those shoulders back and extend through those fingertips. Releasing the hands down on either side of your foot, rotating your body and extend. Right arm to the sky, reach it up. High as you can reach. Find your breath. As you exhale, releasing that right hand down, hand on either side of your hips, lift your hips, sweep it back and extend. Right leg to the sky, just send your hands on either side of your hips and I meant your foot. Breathe. Keeping that right leg high, or you are welcome to release it down to down dog, holding your down dog, or inhale it to high plank. Leg up or down, one push up. And again. And one more. Awesome job, you guys. Release your foot, lift your hips to down dog. And let's gently alternate bending knees, walk it out. Uh, you guys celebrate the ability to move. The fact that we're here together, moving our bodies, breathing. Mm, it's a gift. Yes, it is. I cherish it every day. As you exhale, let both heels sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, right arm down, left arm high, reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, giant step back with that right foot. Arms circle back and overhead. And again, that back knee, you're welcome to bring it to the mat. Find that breath. Soften those shoulders. Really nice deep lunge. Inhale, reach and exhale, hinge it forward. Long diagonal line down the back of your body. How far can you reach? Can you feel the strength in your belly? Open those arms out to a T. Just 
sweep those arms back to flight. Roll those shoulders back, turn your palms to the sky and spread those fingers wide. Releasing the hands on either side of the foot, rotating and extending left arm to the sky, reach it up high as you can reach. Breathe. As you exhale, releasing that left hand down, one hand on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. You're welcome to keep that leg high or release it down to down dog, holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank, leg up or down. Here we go. Pushing up once and again, twice. Let's do it one more time. Beautiful. Release your foot. Lift your hips to down dog. And we're going to inhale, bending both knees, drawing the bottom of the tummy towards the top of the thighs. And then exhale, extend those legs. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend the knees. Ah, draw the tummy and uh, thighs together and extend those legs. Let's do that once more. Inhale, bend the knees. And then extend it out. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. And we're going to bend those knees as much as you need to. And then bring the hands around behind the back. Interlace your fingers. Let your head be heavy. So you can bend those knees as much as you want to let the tummy and chest come to rest on your thighs. If you want to bring the hands to touch, the palms to touch, make it happen. Rolling those shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Mobility through the shoulders, stretching through the chest. Now if you'd like, adding the legs a little deeper, straightening those legs, getting a deeper stretch in the hamstrings, calves. And slowly bringing the hands to the small of the back. Just gently play with the weight distribution. Toes and then heels. Toes and then heels. And then we center our weight, releasing the arms, letting them hang. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And exhale, pull your hands to heart center. We shift our weight to our left foot. Right knee lifts to 90 degrees and flex your foot. Extending those arms out to a T if you like. And we're going to open that right leg out to the right. Breathe. Coming back to center. Pressing that right foot straight back, hinging forward to a warrior three. Hips are square. Crown of the head pointing straight ahead, pressing through that back heel. Bringing the hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers, all but the index finger and thumb. And we're going to slowly hinge it forward. Breathe, lifting that right leg. Stability, strength, and flexibility. Now slowly we begin to rise. Releasing the hands, pulling those hands back to heart center as we draw that right knee forward to 90 degrees once again. Oh, you feel that left bum? Yes, sirree. And release it down. Roll out your ankles, stretch your toes, get rid of the wiggles. Ah. And as you're ready, pull those hands to heart center. Shift your weight to your right foot. Left knee lifts to 90 degrees and flex your foot. Find your breath. Extend those arms out to a T if you like. And let's open that left knee out to the left as far as it'll go. Mobility, balance, flexibility. And we pull that knee back to 90. And let's press that left foot straight back. Hinging forward to warrior three. 
Squaring those hips. We bring the hands around behind the back, interlacing the fingers all but the index finger and thumb, and slowly beginning to hinge it forward as deeply as you wish. Lifting that left leg as you go. And slowly we rise back to our warrior three. Circling those arms overhead as you pull that left knee forward to 90 degrees, hands to heart center. And release it down. Nice work, you guys. Roll it out. Wiggle those arms. And sh let's make a big circle with those shoulders up and back to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. And we shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back heel to the mat. We stand tall to warrior one. Hips, chest, and shoulders square to the front. Shoulders soft. Breathe. Bring your palms to gently touch. Interlace the fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. Keeping those hips side by side. Inhaling it up nice and tall, and as you exhale, opening to warrior two, hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Inhale, straighten that front leg a bit, and then exhale, sink. Breathe. Back of the right arm along the inside of that right calf, left arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. Extend out of that left shoulder as high as you can reach, rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over as you turn your gaze down towards your right big toe, little tuck of your chin towards that right collarbone or shoulder. And inhale, we rise back to warrior two, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, reach forward as far as you can reach and take it up and back. Reverse warrior, lengthening and reaching through those right fingertips. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. And let's inhale, straighten that front leg. Turn and take your gaze towards your back heel. A little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. And let's inhale it back up. Windmilling that left arm up and over, placing your left hand along the inside of your right foot. Adjust your feet if you need to. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Revolve triangle. As you exhale, releasing that right hand down, placing your hand on either side of your foot. Front knee bends. Back heel comes off the mat and into a runner's lunge. Bringing both hands to the inside of your foot. Let's bring that back knee to the mat. Untuck those toes. And as you exhale, let that right knee roll open as you turn and take your gaze out over that right shoulder. A variation of lizard. Breathe. And slowly we bring it back to center. One hand on either side of your foot and slowly begin to press your hips back. Keeping that right sole of the foot connected to the earth, square those hips, draw your nose towards your knee. Stretching through the front of that right foot, through the shin. Ah, oh, yes. Now let's transition to the back of the leg as we lift those right toes, sitting your bottom back just a little bit further. And let's inhale it back up. 
left hand on either side of your foot, tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. Go ahead and open up those hips. Add a flex of that right foot and a bend of that right knee. Draw your heel toward your bottom. Coming down onto that left forearm if you like. Ah, that left heel pressing towards the mat. Extending right leg to the sky, slowly releasing it down. Coming back up to the palms of the hands, we inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Optional push up if you like. To down dog. Just take a moment, allow those heels to sink a little the tip of the pelvis, reaching your sit bones to the sky. And just take a moment, what garbage are you holding on to today? Seems like we're always holding on to somebody's. Let it go. Not yours to carry, my friends. Let those hips sway side to side. Just a little fun free swing maybe find a smile on your face as you've let go of a little bit of heaviness coming back to center shifting your weight to your right foot left toes to the sky exhaling and sweeping that left foot through back heel to the mat stand tall to warrior one squaring the hips chest and shoulders to the front shoulders soft and away from those ears Breathe, inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Bring the palms to gently touch. Interlace your fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, arch it back a little or a lot. That right hip is going to work to pull back. Do your best to work against it. Keep those hips facing front. Inhaling it up nice and tall. And exhaling, opening into to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Sink into those legs. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And then exhale, sink. Back of the left arm along the inside of that left calf. Right arm extends straight to the sky. Arms at 12 and 6. Extend out of the shoulder up to the tips of your fingers. How high can you reach? Now rotate that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over as you turn your gaze down towards your left big toe. A little tuck of your chin down towards that left collarbone or shoulder. How far can you reach with those right fingertips? Breathe. And we inhale it all the way back up to warrior two. Back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, reach forward as far as you can reach. And then take it up and back. Reverse warrior. Right hand sliding down that back leg, left fingertips reaching. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. See if you can reach any further back. And then exhale, sink. Breathe. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Turn your gaze towards your back heel. Little tuck of your chin towards that right collarbone. And let's inhale it all the way up. Windmill that right arm up and over. Placing your hand along the inside of your left foot. Adjust your feet if you need to. Rotate your body. Left arm to the sky. Uh, working to stack those shoulders, to stack the arms, feeling that great stretch through that left hip, through the hamstrings, feel the strength in that upper back, those obliques, your whole body working with your breath, exhaling and releasing that left hand down, one hand on either side of your foot, back heel comes off the mat to a runner's lunge. Breathe. Let's bring both hands to the inside of your foot, bringing that back knee to the mat. Untuck those toes. Keep your core strong. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, let that left knee roll open as you rotate and take your gaze out over that left shoulder, drawing the front of that right hip towards the mat. So many beautiful things going on here.
and slowly we rotate it back to front. One hand back on either side of your foot. Glue that left sole of the foot to the earth. Square those hips and slowly press your sit bones back. Nose towards your knee. Now that right hip is going to try and slow back or pull back a little bit on you. Can you feel that amazing stretch right down the front, all through the ankle, the shin, through the foot? And then slowly lift those left toes as you sit back and it transitions now to the back of the leg. Mm, so nice. Inhale, coming forward, bending that left knee, hands on either side of your foot, tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back and extend left leg to the sky. Go ahead and open up those hips. Add a flex of your foot, a bend of that left knee, and draw your heel toward your bottom. Right forearm coming towards the mat. Find your breath. Extending left leg and slowly releasing it down. Coming back to our downward facing dog. We inhale it to high plank, crocodile down, press it through up dog, open up those knees and press it back to extended child's pose, arms extending out nice and long, chin cheek or forehead to the mat, and just breathe. Take the time you need as you're ready. Walk your hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down towards the top of your mat. We bring the hands behind the thighs and we rock it back to our boat pose. Keeping the support with your boat pose if your lower back needs it today, my friends. If you like, you can extend those arms out. Breathe. So we can stay here. We can modify. We can intensify, if you like, by lifting those feet. A little or a lot. You listen to your body. Be kind. Challenge yourself, but be real. We're right here. This is where we are, loud and proud. Let's bring the hands to the outsides of the ankles, outside of your feet, or take a hold of the big toes with your first two fingers and your thumb, and let's open those legs. Lifting the chest, allowing those legs to be heavy, those arms to be heavy, and just breathe. And let's slowly close those legs. Use the strength of those adductor muscles, guys, those inner thighs. Releasing the support, bending the knees. Now we're going to press those heels out. Oh, hollowing, scooping out your tummy, your chest, pressing through those heels. Now pull it back in. We're going to do that once more. Hollow it out. Press those heels out. Hollow out the tummy and the chest. Pull it back in. Hands behind those thighs. And let's rock it back. And rock it up. Each one's going to get a little smaller. Rock it back and rock it up. Back and up. Back and up. Back and stay back. Hands transition to your shins. Pull them in nice and tight. Mm. Placing that left foot to the mat, right foot crosses just above that left knee. Pull your knees in, reach that right hand through your little window, interlace your fingers behind that left thigh. Pull those knees in. Nestle those shoulder blades down against the earth. And gently release the hands, pull those hands back through, left foot comes to the earth. Cross that right leg all the way over the left. If you're able to, wrap your foot around the back of that left calf. If you can't quite wrap it, just tuck it against your leg as tightly as you can. Right arm to the outside to a T, left hand to the top of the right knee and gently guide both knees to the left. 
turning and taking your gaze out over that right arm. So a little different variation from where we began, but still that supine spinal twist and just a whole load of yumminess. And if you liked our original supine spinal twist, just come back to that. All is well, my friends. Releasing that left hand, rolling back to center, placing that right foot to the mat, left foot crosses above the right knee, pulling the knees in, reaching that left hand through that little window, interlacing your fingers behind that right thigh and pull those knees in. Hello, left hip. Nestle those shoulders down. Close your eyes. Just breathe. That is one thing, my friends. Whenever you're feeling out of sorts, overwhelmed, anxious, scared, take a moment and just breathe. Your breath has amazing power and amazing calming energy to help let go of negative energy. Releasing the intensity with the arms, pulling those hands back through, right foot to the mat, left leg crosses all the way up and over the left. Again, if you can, wrapping that left foot around behind that right calf. If it doesn't wrap, just tuck it against you as tightly as you can. Left arm out to a T, right hand to the top of the knee, and just guide both knees to the right. Turning and taking your gaze out over that left arm. So we have done a whole lot of stuff for our body physically, translating into emotionally and mentally. That's why it's so important, you guys, to be kind to our bodies because when we're not kind and we try and force things to happen, we get this sense of frustration and anxiety that does not serve us well. So when we are kind, we allow ourselves to find these beautiful places of surrender and success. When the body says thank you, so does your emotional and mental well being. Releasing that right hand, slowly rolling back to center. We're going to take that left knee in and extend that right leg out, hands to the shin just below your knee. So again, if you need to pull that right foot in, yep, make that happen. Releasing that right arm out to a T and we just make a little circle with that left knee. Mobility through the hip joints, so important you guys, with each day that passes and switching directions whenever you're ready. Coming back to center. Release the intensity and then pull that knee out to the side and then up towards that armpit. Nice stretch down the front of that right leg and through the inner thigh of that left leg. We pull it back to center, extending that left leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip and slowly lower your leg down and allow it to come to rest. Right knee comes in, hands to your shins, just below the knee, pull it in nice and tight. Again, you can bend that left knee, sole the foot to the earth, or that leg can be long. We extend that left arm out to a T, right hand to the knee and just a little circle with that knee. Are you noticing? a little less resistance, a little more range of motion, let's switch directions. I hope so, because that's what it's all about. It's about letting go of negative energy, right? Stiffness, tightness, tension. And we come back to center. Now release that intensity with the arm. Pull that knee out and up, kind of up to your armpit. Mm. Which side do you feel more and where? So it's this exploration. It's this knowledge. 
that each time we come back to our practice, we learn more and more about ourselves. We bring it back to center. Extend both arms out to a T. Extend that right leg. Point your toes. Lengthen your leg. Build external rotation through that hip. And then slowly lower your da leg down. Reaching out through those toes. And allow it to come to rest. Arms travel down by your sides. Turning your palms open to the sky. Or you're welcome to rest your hands on your tummy making whatever adjustments you need to make to find a comfortable place. Relax your eyes, soften your jaw. And as our awareness is drawn inward, I want you to take a moment and I want you to visualize the face of someone who brings you so much joy. So much joy that it brings a smile to your face. And I want you to picture that face with a big smile on it. I want that joy to resonate throughout your entire being. Your mind, your heart, your belly, all the way down to your toes. And then just gently, quietly, I want you to thank whoever that is for being such an amazing part of your life. Come back to that beautiful face and that amazing smile. And let that joy fill you. It is hard to pour from an empty pitcher, my friends. Take time to fill your pitcher, however that means to you. As we learn to take better care of ourselves, that allows us to take better care of those whom we love. Now just gently watch as that beautiful face begins to blur and the mind becomes clear. We bring the hands down by our sides, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Stretching your limbs, however that feels good to you. And as you're ready, bring your knees up towards your chest, rolling to one side. And take your time to help yourself come back up to a seated position that feels good to you. Rest your hands comfortably, sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let's gently open those eyes. Take a big breath in, reach to the sky. And exhale, pull those hands to heart center. <clears throat> I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was a great class for you. I hope you feel amazing. I hope the rest of your day is absolutely incredible. Be well, my friends, and until the next time, namaste.